something like a 40% of our country are describe themselves as evangelical or born again. About half of that number, <coughs> roughly a quarter of all Americans, could be described as renewalist Christians. These are people who seek to have an interactive, supernatural, back and forth relationship with God. And so about 10 years ago, I joined um, this, this, uh, such a church. Um, I, I wanted to know how people were able to experience God in this way. I wanted to know how people were able to experience this invisible agent as a person among people. I joined a, an evangelical church that was in, in my neighborhood, hung out there for two years, went to the Sunday morning gatherings, participated in a weekly house group, went to local meetings and national meetings, um, hung out with people, had coffee, interviewed people. What I saw was that learning to experience God in this intimate way is a skill. It's something that people learn to acquire. You can tell it's a skill because people show up in the church and they say things like, you know, they believe in God, but you know, God doesn't talk to me, you know, please so and so, will you pray to God for me because God doesn't talk back to me. And six months later, maybe nine months later, they'll say something like, I recognize God's voice the way I recognize my mom's voice on the phone. They talk as if they really feel that they recognize God as a person in their lives. So the church teaches them three things to enable them to recognize God as a person among people. First of all, it teaches them to think about their minds differently. I think about this as, a, as acquiring a new theory of mind. People learn to think about their minds not just as a private place where only, they, only their thoughts dwell, but as, as a place with permeable borders so that God can move in and out of the mind and your job as a congregant is to pick out the thoughts and images and impressions that God may be placing within your mind that are, in fact, not your thoughts, but are given to you by God. They're the word of God to you. And so the, the uh, church teaches people how to discern the presence of these thoughts. The second thing the church invites you to do is to pretend that God is present. That sounds, you know, people don't really think of this as, as pretense. Uh, Let's pretend is the, is the title of a, ch of a chapter of mere Christianity, C.S. Lewis's book, arguably one of the most important theological texts of the 20th century. And, and Lewis tells us that we should pretend in order to experience in reality. This is a world in which the pastor told the congregation to put out a second cup of coffee for God in the morning. So you have your own cup of coffee, and you should pour a second real cup of coffee um, and leave it for God. And, uh, and that will give you, you know, make you feel more like you really are talking to God over the, over the coffee. People go on dates with God. Women go on dates with God. They go, you know, somebody will pick up a sandwich and go to the park and kind of sit on a park bench. And the woman who's, who's telling me the story said that, you know, she and God were just sitting on the park bench together and his arm was around her shoulders and she was telling him about her life and he was telling her about his. The third thing they do is that they, uh, they do what I call a series of emotional practices, which you can see as an anthropologist. Uh, you see people perform in church and you see people come into the church and, and learn to perform themselves. So, for example, people learn to treat God as a therapist. People take to God the kinds of concerns that many New Yorkers will take to a therapist. Talk about the ways that you feel uncomfortable at work. Talk about the ways that you felt that you let, let somebody down. Talk about the ways that your relationship is, isn't going so well. And you expect in this daydream-like interaction with God that people call prayer, people learn to hear from God um, what, that, what advice a therapist would give them.